Hey everyone, Dr. Clark here. I want to tell you about a major mistake people that have autistic children are making, and that is giving their autistic children melatonin. Now, melatonin is a hormone that's made by a gland in your brain called the pineal gland, and it's typically thought of in general population as some sort of a sleep hormone, and it certainly does have everything to do with sleep. But giving your autistic child melatonin is a disaster, and here's why. Melatonin is a hormone, and any time you give the human body what we call an exogenous hormone or a, a hormone from outside the body and you give it to it, there's a couple things that will happen. The first thing that will happen is the gland that makes that hormone will start to atrophy because it doesn't need to make as much hormone anymore. The second thing that will happen is you will start to lose the coordination and the feedback between that gland and the pituitary and the hypothalamus. You don't want to lose feedback coordination. And the third thing will happen is the body will become resistant to that hormone. So on all three levels, giving your child melatonin is a mistake, and here's why. Melatonin does not work alone. Melatonin works hand-in-hand -hand with another hormone called cortisol, and it's the ebb and flow of melatonin and cortisol that allow you to have normal sleep. Now, many autistic children have disturbed sleep. Either they don't go to sleep or they wake up a lot, and I know what happens. I mean, I don't begrudge you this. I understand what happened. Your child's having a hard time sleeping, and so you look on the internet or you look through some book and you say, hey, it says right here melatonin is a good thing to give our kid. Let's try it. And so you give it to your child and it seems to have a response, and so you think, great. But see, the, the story you're missing is that that is going to make that child dependent forever on melatonin. And that's just the one side effect of taking melatonin or giving it to your autistic child. The second thing is when you give the child melatonin, the body doesn't know what to do with that. I'll explain. See, melatonin has a couple different functions. As I said a minute ago, the first function it has is it has kind of a push and pull relationship with cortisol. So for example, cortisol has a rhythm, melatonin has a rhythm. Cortisol is high in the morning and then low at night. Well, melatonin is the exact opposite. Melatonin's low in the morning and high at night. Many kids have sleep problems not because of a melatonin problem. The autistic child has a sleep problem due to cortisol problems. Now, what's causing a cortisol problem? Well, we could talk about that for a very long time. It could be a misfiring brain. It could be a gut infection. It could be a food intolerance. It could be an autoimmune condition that's causing that. But by giving the kid melatonin and not investigating those other factors, you're really doing your child a disservice. So there's this rhythm. And when you give a child melatonin, you're totally disturbing that rhythm. Yes, the child may sleep, but you're disturbing the normal cortisol rhythm, and that can have some disastrous, uh, disastrous effects. The second thing is melatonin is a pretty powerful antioxidant. So many kids that get benefit from taking melatonin are getting that benefit because they have a lot of inflammation in their body, and the melatonin acts as an antioxidant and calms that inflammation down. And that inflammation is not just happening in their body, it's happening in their brain. So if you give your child melatonin and they have a positive response, that could be why. But the real question is, why does your child have inflammation? Once again, you've got to do good detective work and investigate autoimmune conditions, food intolerances of different kinds. Um, you've got to look at gut infections. You have to look at viral infections. Those things have to be looked at. Otherwise, you're just putting a Band-Aid on it. Now, the third reason why an autistic child might seem to get a parent benefit from melatonin, even though this is a total double-edged sword, Melatonin is an immune system stimulator. Melatonin stimulates what we call the Th1 part of the immune system. So some children that are on the autistic spectrum that are getting benefit from melatonin, it's because they have an immune system problem. So once again, melatonin is simply a band-aid in any of those scenarios. And what you have to do is find out what's causing this thing. What's causing the cortisol disturbance? What's causing the inflammation? Because that's all melatonin is doing. It's really just kind of, you know, scratching the surface of that. And it's a huge mistake. Let me reiterate that. Giving your child melatonin is a huge mistake. Because even if you look at the label directions, it says you're not supposed to take melatonin for more than a few days at a time. And I've seen kids have been taking melatonin consistently for a year. They're probably going to have to take melatonin for the rest of their life. And that wasn't necessary especially if someone had just done the investigation work to see if the child had an autoimmune condition that was undetected, undiagnosed, but they got one nonetheless. If the child had a food intolerance, and that could be gluten, casein, soy, or something else. If the child had a hidden gut infection, I ain't talking about doing a visual inspection of the stool. 
talking about doing DNA typing. Those are the things that need to be investigated to get a comprehensive look at the child and find out, okay, why are they even getting benefit from melatonin at all? See, giving your child melatonin is really diagnostic, not therapeutic.